Hey everyone, uh, today I am talking about Chris Rock Selective Outrage. It's uh, It was live on Netflix, I didn't watch it live, but I didn't watch it and I did review it. Okay, so first, uh, yes, Selective Outrage does talk, it does refer to Will Smith and he does talk about Will Smith in the beginning. Um, he kind of references a couple, he references him a couple of times throughout the show, and then at the end, he does about uh, ten or so minutes about the slap, and uh, it's pretty funny. Um, Chris Rock in general is funny. Um, I've always liked his stand up, his delivery, especially like his voice and his mannerisms on stage are pretty funny. Um, but it also, just in general, his jokes are funny. Um, one thing. Uh, that might trigger people is his liberal use of the n-word but if you're going to see a comedian you should expect that kind of, those kind of jokes especially if you know Chris Rock and you've seen his other specials it's the same level it's not it hasn't changed in all these years and like I said he does talk about Will Smith but not right away he does sprinkle it in throughout the show uh, this takes place in Baltimore, and it was a live Netflix special, but again, like, I watched it taped. Or not taped, but I watched it on Netflix later on, and it is really fun. Okay. And as far as the jokes go, um, they're not PC. They're, they're, he says right from the beginning, like, if these aren't the kind of jokes you're going to be able to tell at work the next day. Uh, there's even uh, one part, which I'll get into where he seems to kind of abandon his jokes just because he wasn't getting the right uh, the right reaction from the audience that he was expecting which seemed, it seemed to cause him to sidestep and uh, cut those jokes a bit short uh, one thing to talk about is the stage it's a nice really nice theater that they have it in I'm not sure what the name is they didn't really mention it in the opening um, but it's got some mirrors in the background and you can tell the director was avoid, trying to avoid the mirrors but there are some times when you can see his reflection in the background and it, it is a little bit distracting and but everything else is good there's a couple of stutters with jokes but not too much and uh, there's a couple of times when the audience doesn't react the way he thought they would but he's a professional he handled it pretty well so, so Chris Rock starts out talking about wokeness, PC, uh, how people think they're victims. Uh, he talks about people trying to get attention. And one thing about Chris Rock is his jokes lead into each other. So like he starts talking about wokeness and goes into that. And, but then he also starts talking about how there's too many attention seekers in this world. And that goes into victim shaming or people who want to be getting attention for being victims. And then, and that leads into racism and talks about that, which, you know, obviously a black comedian is going to have a lot to say about that. And, and then the racism talks lead into talking about the Kardashians. And that leads into, he has a whole thing about Meghan Markle and how, like, uh, she has didn't have things as bad as she thought she did which also goes into the attention seekers and the victim shaming um, but then he also talks about how it would be much more difficult for a white girl to be accepted by a black family and he talks about that he has some jokes that are pretty funny um, and all throughout he has some funny jokes the some of it falls a little flat, like I said, but the, when he gets into the Kardashians, when he gets into all the, uh, the attention-seeking and the safe space stuff, it's pretty funny. Uh, and the, but he also, when he talks about the Kardashians, one of the things he talks about is how he likes how they accepted Caitlyn so easily. And then that led into some talks about trans people. But he didn't, he, this is the part where he sidestepped. Like, he was not getting the reaction from the crowd that he clearly wanted. And so he kind of cut those jokes short and moved on. He was It wasn't offensive. It was just a little bit too much stereotypical. Um, so he moved on from those pretty quickly. Then with the other, the second half of the show, he starts more about, he starts, he has a, a big section on abortion. 
which is, again, like he said, these aren't PC jokes that you're going to be able to tell at work, and they definitely are, and he goes on quite a bit about abortion, and it's funny. It could be considered offensive by some, but if you're watching a comedian like Chris Rock, you know there's going to be some jokes like this, and they are funny. And then he also has some stories about his family, about raising his kids, making sure they're spoiled but not too spoiled, things like that. And as a 50-year-old man who's gone through a divorce, he has some jokes about dating, dating younger women, dating women versus dating women his same age. And overall, it's very good. He ends the uh, he ends the show with about 10 minutes or so about Will Smith, and it's about what pretty much what you think. Uh, the selective outrage part of the title of the show is about Will Smith and his selective outrage and how he, instead of going after the person who, or being mad at the person who actually caused him harm by cheating on him with somebody else, he goes gets mad at Chris Rock for telling a joke and how that's selective outrage. And he's had some good points about that. And overall, it's a really good show. It's funny, um, not too many stumbles. Uh, Chris Rock is always really good. Uh, I'd rate it probably an 8 out of 10. It's definitely worth watching. Uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, I, I got a lot of laughs out of it. I was laughing through the whole thing. The only time I thought it was getting a little boring was a little bit in the beginning. And I think that was just because he was trying to catch his flow. Because he, you know, he, he hasn't been doing too many stand-ups since the slap. But, uh, or these big specials, like he's been do doing some stand-up, but not a uh, big special like this. So getting in the groove of things and reading the crowd and things probably taught, took a little bit of time. But he was really good, and it's a good show. So that's Chris Rock, Selective Outrage, and it's unavailable. It's available on Netflix now. Go watch it. Thank you, and have a nice day.